The Kumu template, causal relationship modeling. You would think by now that I would be finished with this template in terms of finding tweaks to it that seem to make sense, yet the more I use it, the more I find little things that make it even more usable. So if you if you go to the template project, and the, the link is, is in the video and everywhere else, there are a couple of long videos that I've already done that explain almost all of the pieces and how they're put together. Though since that was done, I've added some additional things and, and they'll be in this video, this video that I'm making, which will be right here. What I've done is I've, I've added three causal relationships to explicitly point out the difference between the nature of the relationship between a variable and a variable and a variable and a stock. So that that these are same and opposite, and when it has to do with a stock, it adds to or subtracts from because the only way you can change a stock is with a flow. And I know there are no flows in causal relationship models, though to explicitly identify the stocks is extremely beneficial. The other thing is you... Um, when you're creating that, when, when someone else is walking through the model, the popovers are, are really useful, really beneficial. When you're explaining the model to someone else, they're a pain in the butt. So if you go to the, uh, the script and you simply add this code, which, which is a just asterisk, brace, popover, none, brace, and save that, the popovers will go away. And then when you finish explaining it to somebody else, you can just delete the script. The reason that you don't want to come here and simply comment out this popover definition is sometimes Kumu thinks it's too damn smart for its own good and it gets rid of, of comments. So what a couple other things are that if you sequence your model, your loops within the model to tell a story, this part will allow you, I added this piece, if you look at the underlying code, it's just list loops. That will allow you to walk through the loops one by one and explain the story to someone else. Now, in this case, the, the loops aren't connected, but um, realize that the within Kumu, the definition of a loop is kind of loose. A loop is one or more uh, connection identified together as a loop. So you so and this this is not a loop yet it's defined to be a loop simply because I said this loop definition contains these four connections. The other thing is that using this piece of code right here, the showcase target loop label as dots, what that ends up doing is giving you another way to tell the story about your model automatically without you having to do anything. All you have to do is sequence the loops in the way that you want to tell the story. And then you can come down here at the bottom and you can walk through these pieces one by one. And if it was a set of adding relationships to build out the model, you could just walk through this in this sequence. Now, sometimes you don't want you don't want it to build. You actually want it to show just the one that you're talking about. So if you change this to false and then do this, it will automatically turn off the previous one. So you only show one at a time. It's a it's sort of a preference as to how you want to display the story to, to someone else. I guess the, the last piece I want to mention is there are two kinds of accounts in Kumu. There's a regular account and there's an organizational account. Organizational accounts have some additional features such as being able to do um, uh, issues associated with pieces, being able to track um, activity within the model, you know, a number of things. If you, when you clone the template or fork it, whatever, the, the, um, the terminology that they decided to go with is fork. When you fork the project, 
it will put it in your regular, if, if right, this template is in my organizational account. My organizational account is, is kumu.io slash stw. So it, when I forked it, it put it in my systems wiki account. So once it created it, it's now in the systems wiki account, and I need to go to admin, and I first need to rename it because you can't have two projects with the same name. So I would go ahead and rename it and call it Kumu template new or whatever. And once I renamed it, then I could go ahead and transfer it, transfer it from systems wiki to STW, which moves it into my organizational account so that the, the, the um, issues thing works. Now notice that all of the issues that were part of the template to begin with are gone. And if there is a, was a, and there was a presentation as part of it, the presentation has been unpublished, but the pieces for the presentation are still there. So once you get to here with a new version of this, the best thing to do is to simply go ahead and tell it, not that, that no, stop, is to do a shift select and delete everything, unless you're going to build on it. So you, you simply delete everything, it says, do you want to do this? And yes, I really want to do this. And once I delete this, then I want to go to the trash and I actually want to empty the trash so that if I don't empty the trash, all of that stuff is there in the trash. And if I create a similar name, it'll bring it back out of the trash. So this gives you a blank canvas to start with and, and build your model. So hope you found this of interest and We'll see what happens to this template in the future from this point on. So take care. Have a great day. Bye.